Welcome to this small demonstration video of System Arcade. My name is Ulf Bang and today I'm going to talk about the new optimization feature that we implemented for heating and cooling coils. Let's uh, start by looking at the default values. Uh, here we introduce two new settings for heating and for cooling called optimize value. And here you can select between price and air pressure drop. So that means if, if you select price, then of course the system will select the cheapest possible heating coil available that can meet the capacity requirement. This is even available for users without a price database. Um, it is a configured coil and it is uh, defined by the coil calculator that we have from the manufacturer and it contains prices. So even though the price is not displayed, it actually calculates the price of the coils. If we uh, create a regular uh, air handling unit with heating and cooling, let's say 10,000 cubic meters, Genius 16, heating cooling with rotary heat exchanger, okay. And then let's just calculate. I know that the rotor setting is uh, okay. I know that the airflow for the uh, unit size is okay and if I check the echo design I can see I have a pretty realistic uh, configuration here. So let's go back to drawing and then click the heating coil. Here we can see that the default that we set in the default values price it's calculated according to that. Um, we optimize on tube type we have three options. It, calculates P25, that is 3, 8 inch. We have P3012, half inch, and P40, that's 5, 8 inch. We also optimize on the fin spacing. And fin spacing, we of course have uh, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, and 4.0. And in this case, it found a P3012 and has a fin spacing of 2.5 millimeters. Say heating coils, uh, normally the uh, capacity required is not uh, very large because we have a efficient rotary heat exchanger in front. So it only has to heat up the air from 14.4 in this case to 22 degrees. And that means that we have a, quite a small coil uh, only delivering about 25.5 uh, uh, kilowatts. Uh, we can also see that the select coil is a stock coil. The um, system still prioritizes the stock coils above an order specific coil. But of course, if the stock coil cannot meet the capacity required, then it will calculate a coil customized for the specific situation. Let's go to the cooling coil. And here we can see that the system, again, it optimizes on tubing type and fin spacing. It has found a P3012, 2 millimeters in fin spacing. It has a pressure drop of 210 pascals, wet coil. Let's see what happens if I select to optimize on air pressure drop. Then the system will calculate the different coil options and select the one with the lowest air pressure drop. Let's see what happens. Now we can see that we actually reduced the air pressure drop with 38 pascals. It is still a P3012, but the fin spacing is 4 millimeters. The system can also support that you only optimize, for example, tube type, and you fix the fin spacing at 2.5, as an example. You can also fix both. So if we compare the optimized air pressure drop towards the default settings that we used to have in the system and calculate, then we can actually see that the pressure drop is increased to 226. So we saved more than 50 pascals by optimizing both tube type and fin spacing. I hope you find this new uh, optimized feature interesting and um, I hope you will enjoy it in the future. Thank you for watching.